Hello, welcome to Dentistry and You. I'm your host, Dr. Casebolt. I want to talk about a very important subject tonight, the future of our society. I have two guests with me tonight, my son and my daughter, and we're going to talk about a very important thing, children's toothbrushing, lending a helping hand. Lending a helping hand is very important because children learn by observing. They learn by doing. They watch what their parents show them. But attitudes are very, very important. More than just a lending helping hand with their brushing. More important and more important is their attitudes. Attitudes are extremely important. So, without further ado, I want to introduce my son, Ben Casebolt. Ben, what do you say? Hi. All right. Rachel, what do you say? Hi. This is my daughter, and we're going to go over toothbrushing techniques, okay? So, Ben, I'm going to let you start, and we brought our, our special toothbrush. And by the way, for you folks at home, you might notice that this is a relatively small toothbrush. Children like small toothbrushes, and they should have their own specialized toothbrush for themselves. This is the toothbrush that they should have. It shouldn't be shared with their siblings or with their parents or anyone else. This is their toothbrush, and they should always know where it is, and they should always use that toothbrush. Now, one other thing I thought I might mention before we get too much further ahead. When children brush, they don't need to use a whole lot of toothpaste on their toothbrush. They get plenty of, of fluoride in the drinking water. They get it from a variety of other sources, including the toothpaste that we use. By the way, I don't particularly endorse this toothpaste. It is very good toothpaste. Colgate makes a good product. Uh, many of the other, uh, Aquafresh, many of the other producers make very fine uh, products. Uh, I'm not trying to promote one particular product over the other. All of them have fluoride in it. And with that in mind, you just need to use a little bit, just a little bit of toothpaste on the, the toothbrush. The younger your child is, the smaller amount of toothpaste that you use. Ben, I'm going to go ahead and give this to you, and you can go ahead and start. Now I want you to start on. That's okay. Now I want you to start. There you go. I want you to start on the very back teeth. Now tilt up just a little bit so everybody can see. All right. Now get those back ones, and get over to all the sides. Do a real thorough job, and get all the way over in front. Now get on the tongue side too. That's real important. Now with younger children, sometimes it's very important to lend a helping hand, because younger children don't always know exactly what they should do. Now let's get the uh -oh. upper teeth. You need, to, you need to just take a little rinse. Okay, get the upper uh -oh, ones too. Uh -oh. All right, here's a little water. Toothpaste is sometimes kind of hot, so sometimes it's important. There you go, that's a ticket. All right, that's good, that's good. Now did you get the upper teeth, Ben? You wanna get those for me? Let's try again, okay? Make sure you get the upper ones. And that's part of, of the adult intervention. That's part of lending a helping hand. Make sure they're thorough. Don't assume for one minute that your child knows how to be thorough and complete about their brushing. Assist with it. Ben, that's looking pretty good. Did you get the left side okay and the right side? Tell you what, get up over in the, okay, get up on the upper right side, right over here too. Now turn around so everybody can see. That's good. That's good. Now I'll tell you what, we'll set that right over here and you can spit out right there and here's some water, okay? Whoops. <laughs> Very good, Ben. Okay, that's good. And we forgot our napkins, I can see. Well, we can't always be perfect. How do those teeth feel? Nice and clean? Really clean, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's how teeth should be brushed every night. Now, Rachel, it's your turn, too, because your brother brushed his teeth, and you have to brush your teeth. And what are you going to tell Daddy when he goes home tonight? What does he have to do? That's right, Daddy needs to brush his teeth because Daddy can't forget. Isn't that right, Ben? That's right. Okay, same thing. We'll start out with just a little bit of toothpaste. It doesn't take a whole lot. You don't have to put a whole lot on there. Remember, those little mouths don't take great big toothpaste uh, and great big toothbrushes. Rachel, you go ahead and start. Start there on the bottom ones. Get around to the front. That's good. Brush real well. Get the upper ones too, okay? And reach back ways. Very good. Now get, get across on the other side. Very good. 
Now get those lower front ones. We want to make sure they're nice and clean too, okay? How are we doing? Fine. Okay, let's, let's get the lower front ones real good. You want to spit out just a little bit? Okay, go ahead and take some of your water. There you go. That's good, and you can spit out right there. Very good, good aim. Very good. How do they feel? Nice and clean. Did we get them nice and clean? That's good. Now, guys, before, before we finish with this part of it, I want you all to turn around. Do you have something to say to the, the folks out there at home about taking care of your teeth? What do you got to say? Brush your teeth every day. That's right. And Ben, what do you got to say about all this? Brush your teeth in the morning and brush your teeth at night. That's good, Ben. And you know, I'll tell you what, we have a lot of people from your school watching tonight, and uh, we'll make sure that we say hi to them tomorrow and tell them the same thing, because it's real important that little kids, and sometimes big kids, take care of their teeth. Right, guys? Right? <laughs> okay. Well, again, to reiterate what I said before, for all of you folks out there that had the benefit of watching this, it's real important to start with good attitudes about your health, and your welfare and you need to teach this to your children at a very early age start early make those very first impressions strong and important ones because they will carry with your child for a lifetime one other thing I'd like to say uh, every child at least once every year should have a thorough and complete examination ask a friend Ask them who they take their, ch their children to. If they like their dentist, if their children are comfortable with their dentist, go on that recommendation. Make an appointment. Let their teeth be examined. Because many times, small amounts of tooth decay that are undetected can get a foothold in the mouth. And once they do, they can proliferate into even larger cavities. And if you catch them at an early point, it's easy to take care of those teeth and get them taken care of in the proper way. And it makes those first visits to the dental office very important visits and very, very positive visits for the children. Because as they go through life, and when the time comes that they require very thorough and complete dental examinations, fillings, who knows, crown and bridges, whatever is required for their dental health, we want them to go into that dental visit with the most positive and complete and best attitude that they could possibly have. And keep in mind, that attitude will be fostered by you, their parents. And that is a very important thought. Again, I want to go back over the important things that you need to do for your children for their oral health. Every night before they go to bed, set an example. Brush your own teeth. Let them see that mommy and daddy are taking care of their teeth. Make sure that they have their own toothbrushes so that they have their own items, their belongings, something that belongs to them, something that they know is theirs, something that they will use, something they can identify with. And make sure that they do a good job. Children don't always know exactly what's best for them. You have to lend that helping hand. And again, even more importantly, attitude. Attitude is very important, not just with oral health, but general health in, in general. You have to set that example as their parents. When they see their parents out ex exercising, taking care of their bodies, taking care of themselves, and being good citizens, your children will also do the same thing. And who knows, maybe a thousand years from now, Long after we're gone, our society will proliferate and flourish and will have all the advantages that you bequested upon your children and their children and their children and their children. Now that's an interesting thought. And it all comes down to one important thing. Attitude, a very good attitude that you foster in your children. And again, it starts, in my opinion, as a dentist, with good oral health and good attitudes. And when you go to bed tonight, and before you go to bed, I want you to get those toothbrushes out. See if you can find some toothpaste. If you don't have any, go to a local Quick Trip or convenience stores. Go ahead and buy some toothpaste. By gollies, it's never too late to start. And remember, with little children, now my fellows are not quite so little. They're a little bit bigger. We've got a 
five-year-old, six-year-old, and an eight-year-old here. Well, actually, you're going to be seven here in a couple of months, Rachel, because you're getting quite big. But you see, with very small children that are two or three years of age, you don't need to use very much toothpaste on that toothbrush. What's important is that you, you provide the attitude, the drive, and the need to take care of your teeth. And that starts very, very early. Just a little bit of toothpaste for those little, little people, two to three years of age. As they get older, use just a little bit more toothpaste. But you don't ever need to use a whole lot. Fluoride rinses, they're okay, but they're not essential. We get fluoride in the drinking water thanks to the Public Works Department. So we don't need a lot of extra fluoride in our diet. What's important is that we brush our teeth thoroughly. Mommy and daddy, brother and sister, grandma and grandpa, everybody. And with that, I want to thank you for watching Dentistry and You. Now, don't touch that dial. When we come back, you'll find out what's on Wednesdays, Kansas City Alive.